Turn and hit the second one hard. So that's what it's going to be. Not see how much longer it took to throw those two hooks. All right, so here we go. Let's go ahead and do the double hook after you slip. So go. There you go. Go. Good. Show it over here. Go. All right, now watch where the glove is at, all right? My, meaning mine. All right, go ahead. Go. All right, it's right there. That means I'm giving him a realistic target. All right, I'm not over here. I'm not doing all this other stuff where uh, most people don't even train this stuff. So I don't even know how to make up a freaking a wrong way. Anyhow, um, uh, what I'm trying to say is you as a person, if you're watching this and you like to hold the mitts and you, you teach your students, you know, the combination stuff, you may be nice and dandy with that little Peter Patter, uh, uh, wonderful Mayweather type of uh, 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 mitt work. But if you don't put your, uh, your student in the real uh, rhythm of battle, in a chaotic, a uh, controlled chaotic state, he's never going to learn properly. Trust me, he's going to get <laughs> freaking rocked all the time. He might, might be fast, but if you face the right type of person, he's going to get rocked easily. He's going to get overpowered easily. All right, you just need to take care of his center of gravity. If he does that, trust me. Uh, uh, anyhow, here we go. So, he's, he's going to throw that light hook and then the hard hook. Here we go, go. There you go. Again, go. Good. Again, go. Good. All right, so now that he got that down, obviously, you guys will drill this a lot longer. But uh, I already have confidence that he got it down. So now, he's going to put the first three commands on autopilot, which is the... Jab, straight, evade, all right? That's autopilot, all right? So now he just needs to think about the Spartan shove and then that double Peter patter uh, hook, all right? So that it comes out quick enough. So here's how we're gonna do it. We're gonna go nice and slow at first, then we're gonna pick up the rhythm. Here we go. Good, again. Good, go. Good, go. Good. All right, now we're going to keep picking it up and trying to get better and better. All right, don't go for speed. Just go for the path that leads resistance. Here we go. Good, go. So see, now I'm actually trying to take uh, 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 the ground away from him. I'm trying to attack a little bit going forward, and he's still adjusting properly because I'm placing him in the real rhythm of battle. He's feeling the danger, and he's learning what he needs to do with his ligaments and tendons, with his heart, with his brain, the cardio, everything. All right, here we go. Good, go. Nice, go. All right. One thing I want to point out, Again, get in your boxing stance again. All right, look how he is, his head, all right? His head is not back, his head is not way too forward. So that means I'm gauging his power there. All right, so when he's done, once again, uh, slip, uh, what is this, uh, throw the one, two. One, two, get away. All right, so look how far he is right there, all right? So now I have to either get away or come in. Trust me, if he hits, if somebody hits you with the one, two, naturally, you're gonna wanna hit back uh, instinctively. Whether it's a jab, or a jab straight, or even just a straight, all right? So if, if anybody does that, then he's just controlling the distance. He's coming in, come in, boom, all right? So right here that he's right here, look at where his base is at. His, uh, his, uh, his actual uh, um, uh, uh, center of gravity is over there. His head is here, yeah, I can try to aim for this, but watch when, when he gets out of danger. Go ahead, hit me double, bam, bam. So he's so close, but look how far he is now. I can't even reach anything, even if, if, if he, for some odd reason, doesn't hit me, which he will, I, I can't even hit him still. But the point is, that's controlling the distance. All right, if he were to step in, all right, go ahead and evade the one, two, bam, 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 and then lunge in too much. Bam, right here I can, I didn't even try hard and I barely pushed over, all right? Or I can hit him right there, he's too close. All right, uh, so that's what I mean about uh, to watch his uh, center of gravity, his waist. He did not come in, he only leaned in. That way he can control distance, all right, just by doing that little motion. All right, so once again, my name is Jesus Medina. I'm the creator of Kero Method, which is a holistic approach to fitness and self-defense training. I want to give thanks here to Warrior Stephen for helping me out demonstrate this. Uh, don't forget, you're limited to your creativity and pain is temporary. Pain is, uh, 
Pain to separate pride is eternal. Fulfillment lasts forever. Uh, give me a thumbs up if you like this or a thumbs down. But if you give me a thumbs down, give me a legitimate reason why you don't like it. That way, uh, uh, constructive criticism basically is what I'm asking for. That way we can both learn from the situation. Not only us too, but any, anybody else that might read our interaction with the comments and stuff like that. If you're going to subscribe, I ask of you please, uh, in order for you to stay updated, uh, find the little wheel, the little gear wheel next to the subscription. It's a little square. Click on it. Uh, a little thing will come up and check. Put the check mark on the to receive emails anytime I re every time I upload a, a video. That way you stay updated with everything that I that I upload. All right. Thank you. Hope you like my unconventional methods. Ko method, baby, knocking out the competition.